Championship Sunday. What a way to cap off a week to remember the inaugural International Champions Cup Futures is in the books. Tom James alongside Eddie Rodriguez, the former MLS star. Tommy Smith, the legend with over 50 years in the game. And we saw these 14 and unders, Tommy, come of age right before our eyes this week. We certainly did, Tom. And I can assure you that soccer is in good shape in the United States. When you see a tournament like this ICC Futures and you see the brilliant play that most of these young kids were capable, it was incredible. Yeah, I think everybody won because at the end of the day, we talk about player development. Every single player that came to this tournament is going to learn something. Whether you're a team from Europe, you learn how to travel as a team, business troop, everybody here gain something at the end of the day well three finals were played today and we'll start with the bowl division and it was the all-stars from north carolina taking on tottingham that's right early in this game they started moving the ball watch this one two into space right here great movement they get in the box right there he's picking trying to play it to the far post and right there the first one from marvin marish Half hour on the clock and Spurs come on the attack with a free kick from almost like a corner. A lot of traffic on the back post. The keeper misjudged it. It's in the back of the net. And then we stepped up for penalty kicks. This would be a good point attempt after, but it wasn't very good in this game, Eddie. For Hotspurs right here. Keeper moves early, puts it in the back of the net. And just like that, the game winner for Tottenham. And 1-1. One, one. Went to penalty kicks. The Hot Spurs win it 5-4, to four, and we heard from the winning coach after the game. Um, I think it was a good game, to be fair. Both sides played. Uh, the refereeing was good, and the whole thing was a good spectacle, I think, for uh, football in general. And I think the American team played well. They had some technical ability. You know, we were saying at the beginning about technical ability. They, could, they played and made it a good game. Win, lose, or draw, we want to take a good account of ourselves, uh, not think about the end just play in the moment and just keep trying to execute what we ask them to execute. Division, the All-Stars from Virginia taking on the LA Galaxy. The Galaxy went to work early in the fourth minute. Great ball. Keeper makes an even better save. And finally, Andres Gonzalez Ramirez puts it in the back of the net for the Galaxy going ahead. Well, Virginia had other ideas, and they have a kid called Jean-Claude Billy. And what a run, what a touch. He just touched it off the outside of his boot and drove it by the keeper. And then it was almost like he was released out of a catapult or something as he rises for this one in the box. Look at this for a header, folks. That's timing, that's precision, that's everything at the same time. 2-1. So the All-Stars from Virginia victorious in the plate bracket what a week it's been for them we heard from them after the game fantastic way to win today uh, we, we talked about it at half time it's a great moment i think you've just shown how much it means to these boys uh, you know we're an all-star team we never played together you know we've grown as individuals we've grown as a team and uh, what an amazing opportunity for these boys other than him being extremely embarrassed, this is the most awesome experience for all these boys. I've been watching these kids, you know, on different competing teams for so many years, and to see them come together and pull this off, it's just unbelievable. I'm just proud of all of them. I mean, I love my son. I get to go kiss him at home, but I love him. <laughs> support from the families have been great. Obviously, they all traveled down to support the team, and uh, we wanted to get to the final, and we've accomplished our goal, so I'm just absolutely proud of the boys. These boys have been absolutely superb throughout the weekend. This is my biological son, this is my adopted son. We love the ICC experience, it was absolutely wonderful. We hope the futures actually go to the next age group so we can come down again because it was uh, definitely worth it for all of us. They bonded, uh, they worked their butts off to actually become a team. Uh, they're, they're like a family. Boys, congratulations, enjoy it. Well done. <laughs> Great to see all those emotions, all those smiles. Tottenham and Virginia able to take home some hardware. Eddie, your thoughts? 
Yeah, you know, you talk about the experiences that you get in this tournament, and it's all about that. You're talking about the only the U14 age group right now. They're looking to grow this tournament later on. But everybody that came to this tournament got something out of it, got to play against better competition, whether it's European, some of the MLS academies, and, of course, some of the local all-star teams with their different states. But it was just a great tournament overall. All right. Well, it all came down to the penultimate moment of the week, the champions final between Bayern Munich and Chelsea FC. Gentlemen, this is what we waited for. Oh, yeah. This was the big dance. We arrived at the big dance. And who picks his partner first? Sully does. Watch this. He pretends to hit it. And then he does hit it. And it's a rocket up into the corner of the Olong bike. What a start for Bayern Munich. Chelsea answers the call in only in the 16th minute. How about this assist, Soup Soup? And how about that header by Charles Webster to the back of the net? 1-1. They're still in this game. Well, I want you to watch number 15, Kanea. Watch him take a couple of steps back here. He realizes where the ball is going to be. If he's too close to the goal, he probably puts it over. Instead, he bangs it into the back of the net. That's great positional sense, and it's great finishing from the youngster. And in the 47th, William Soli was all over the place. He gets taken down here and the penalty box definitely contact. The referee goes to the spot and Benjamin DeBrani doing the honors. Great job. Just staying cool, calm and collect. Puts the 3-1 for Bayern Munich. So a happy bunch from Bayern Munich. They are the champions. Somebody scored a goal against them finally, but uh, not enough as they take home the trophy. Three to one was your final score. And is there any doubt, Tommy, that the best team won? No, I don't think there's any doubt. Although you would get an argument from Chelsea fans because they had a lot of opportunities that they didn't put away. If you don't take opportunities, you can't win games. But at the end, I think the technical ability of Bayern Munich won it for them. Eddie? Yeah, we definitely saw two of the best teams of the tournament here in the final. Tommy's right. It's about putting your chances away. Uh, they didn't defend as well as they should. You know, Sully was running all over the place. And at the end of the day, you got to put away your chances. Bayern Munich was able to do that. That, you know, they were great going forward, and they put three in the back and then, you know, they were victorious, and they deserve it. The cream definitely rose to the top. Some incredible individual efforts this week. Let's take a look at these individual award winners at the ICC Futures. Gentlemen, we've enjoyed watching these guys all week long, starting with the Golden Glove, Hulsman. Well, he deserves it. I mean, he was the man who saved the penalty kick, which kept Bayern Munich in it, and then they went on after and won it. And, of course, Marcos Denia Diaz from Atletico de Madrid, who was awesome. He's scoring all kinds yep. of goals, great goals, all different angles. He was awesome throughout the whole tournament. Gets a golden boot. And, Laura, the MVP. Final thoughts, gentlemen, on a week that has done so much for youth soccer. Well, for me, it's been a wonderful week. It's been a wonderful week to share it with all you guys here in Disney. It was great to be on television with it. They did such a fantastic job covering it. It was great to see these young players. They're under 14. Remember, the kid that hit the penalty kick for Chelsea was 12 years of age, and he's stepping up to take a penalty kick live on television. Are you kidding me? That's a dream come true. It was a fantastic week. I've never seen anything like it. I think it was great, but I think everybody wins rather than only one who gets the trophy. Player development wins. Everybody got better. Everybody got to measure against each other a better, better competition. And for me, it was great to hang out with the legend, Tommy <laughs> Smith. Thank we you know Eddie. he's been around for a few games <laughs> for ESPN. Our pick wasn't so good. Well, we both got knocked out. But you know, the you know what to say. Soccer is a game played when you look up at the scoreboard, the Germans win. And that's exactly what happened here again hey. as Bayern Munich have, it. have we had any fun this week? It's been incredible let's take a look at it. just remember the icc website international champions cup.com that's got everything you ever wanted to know about the icc futures well what a week it has been for tommy smith and eddie rodriguez and our entire crew i'm tom james thank you for watching the inaugural international champions cup futures